What? My boys, I'm Ubix and I'm finally back with another tutorial for you today. So, as you've read from the title, we are going to make a Virtual Riot style complex throw drop. It is going to be pretty nice, pretty nice, no, no, why. And as usual, before getting into the tutorial, let's see a small definition of what complex throw really is. Complex throw is a subgenre of electro house music. It takes a lot of elements from dubstep, electro, and fidget house. No one really remembers what that is. And combines them together into one genre. Complexor's main features are its modulated heavy bass lines and glitchy vocals. So now that we know what exactly we are going to make, let's jump straight into the actual tutorial. So open up a new project, set the tempo around 120 and 130 BPM. I will choose 125. Now we need a generic electro drum beat, something like this. Also you need to have those cymbals, to give your mix some high end and to give your whole beat some groove. Very nice. In the 8th bar you can remove the main drums and add some big room drum fill made out of toms and snares. Now, let's start adding some background elements. You can add one of the most common elements in bass music, usually an offbeat chant. And for complexer you can add this thing too. Cool, now if you want to make your drop more glitchy and give it some more complexer vibes, you can add some sauce tabs, pretty much something like this. You can achieve this type of sound pretty much with any synth. Just make sure you're not detuning the saws way too much if you want it to hit better. Alright, now let's add the most important element in a complex door drop. Before we get into the sound design, let's discuss how we are going to set the whole structure of the drop. Our quote-unquote first half of the drop is going to be structured in different type of bars. The type of structure we are going to use is A, B, A, C, A, B, A, D. Each letter representing one bar. So in the beginning of every two bars, we are going to have a hitting bass. Then for the next two measures of that, we can add the bass that's being modulated. We can use some pitch band for that, to keep it interesting. <laughs> But in the last measure of that first bar, there is a bass that's called a filler bass. Usually, I tend to really modulate that bass and make it really glitchy. Alright, so the first bar was the A section. For the B section, we are going to do some similar things, but not really. So the first three measures, there is gonna be one bass that is going to be heavily modulated. Again, keeping it interesting. <laughs> As in the A section, there is going to be a filler bass in the last measure, but we are going to have a different bass for the variation. The next bar is going to be an A section, so you can repeat the first bar that we just did. Now for the C section, I am going to use the bass as a hit, and I am also going to do a slightly melodic feel with a new bass. Now, everything is kinda done. You can copy and paste everything you just did, but do not forget that the D section, meaning the last bar, can be slightly different, meaning that you can add whatever that's melodic or groovy in there. I am just going to add some downlifters and impacts so it fills up this section. When it comes to sound design, try to keep it simple and heavy. Also, don't forget about automating them a lot, so you can achieve really interesting modulation. And never forget that sub, please. Also, as an extra tip, you can mess around with the background elements and cut them in various sections so they can give some dynamic groove for your drop. Also, if you want to go extra VR mode, you can add some glitchy vocal chops. But I'm too lazy to do that, so... Anyways, let's see how the final result sounds like.
Alright my dudes, I hope you guys enjoy watching this tutorial. Lately I started to do a lot more serious tutorials and I am actually trying to teach you guys some tips and tricks that I know instead of making complete f***ing jokes. So yeah my boys, hope you're having a fantastic day and I will be seeing you guys in the next video. See ya!